So I'm here with Miranda and uh, Jane, isn't it? Yes, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Yes. Thank you. I'm good, thanks. Yeah, how are you? Yeah, very good. Really enjoying the uh, conference so far. Yeah, so what are your thoughts on digital journalism? On digital journalism? Yes. Uh, well, I think it's, um, it's kind of where everything is <laughs> and where everything's yeah. happening. We're hearing all these different creative things. Every time I come to News Rewired, there's more creative things that people are doing and, mm. and it's just all changing quickly and in exciting ways. Yeah. It's yeah. constantly developing. It yeah. is constantly developing, which is a good thing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, well, I run a, a master's in digital journalism mm. and, you know, it's an ever-changing field, you know, the rapidly changes in technology. So that core set of skills for digital journalism students is just rapidly expanding and, and, and changing. So yeah. beyond just the traditional journalism skills, you know, it's skills in mobile journalism, you know, coding, interactivity, visual journalism. So, so what other platforms are you pushing in, in your course? Well, uh, you know, live and interactive is very important. Your engagement with the audience is really important. Mm. We do a lot with mobile journalism. We have John McHugh, who runs Verify and is a leader in his field, teaching mobile journalism. Mm. So students are producing you know, viral videos and more documentary-style videos. Uh, and also on the computing side, uh, students learning to code, they'll be able to do data journalism, be able to do data visualisation and sort of more advanced social media techniques through computing techniques. Yeah. Focusing on one of those platforms, what are your thoughts on live streaming? Uh, well, there's been, it was a fascinating uh, panel we had today. I was on something last night. I mean, it's rapidly advancing. It's interesting to see Twitter and Facebook vying for that space. You know, obviously they suit very different, um, you know, different types of videos. You know, Twitter's talking about the ability to monetize that area, you know, with pre-roll ads. Um, and obviously with the, you know, the Facebook algorithm changes, that poses a whole new uh, set of challenges for news organizations, that's for sure. Do you think it's something that is here to stay? Yes, I think it's an evolution of things that we've been seeing all along. I mean, we saw live blogging, you know, I mean, yeah. we've seen, you know, and Twitter kind of took over some of the blogging space with the microblogging, and now we're seeing live streaming. So, so if you kind of look at it um, as an evolution, it is, it is kind of an ongoing pattern. Um, yeah. and it, but, it, you know, it is a lot to try to take in. I yeah. think, you know, we tend in particular here, I think, to have uh, wonderful, amazing people, but they come from fairly large national organizations. I think it's a real challenge in particular for some of the local organizations mm -hmm. to try to keep up with, with all these different things yeah. as well. Um, speaking of evolution and thinking forward to five years' time, where do you think news is developing? Well, I've never been good at answering that question yet. <laughs> if I knew, I'd be rich. Um, uh, well, I do, you know, clearly there is more, um, uh, there's more visual content. It's unclear how, where news is going to go in that direction and how it's going to fill out that space because there's also a lot of space for other kinds of things. There's, you know, kind of an unexpected, I think, growth in long-form journalism. There is perhaps no longer unexpected, but I think when it first appeared, unexpected growth in audio and podcasting. So so it's it, for me, it's always been very hard to predict where things are going. Uh, I think, as Miranda was saying, I think that for our students, it, it's very much about learning how to think about adapting to change, yeah. um, not, not, I mean, they need to know how to do particular things, but in particular, they need to know how to think about doing something differently than yeah. the way they thought about doing it before. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Um, I'm going to be moderating a panel later about, um, you know, voice interaction and, you know, uh, delivering news over the likes of Alexa um, and Google Assistant. And that's certainly a really interesting uh, development in this industry. Some people have said it's the, no, the next challenge for journalism, you know, the great disruptor after, you know, originally desktop and smartphone you know, is this the way forward? And certainly a lot of news organisations are scrambling to, you know, to test out this area. And both of you are lecturers, what are your response like from the students? I mean, has there been a rise in figures attending your courses as well? Uh, we, we, do, we do very well in our courses. Um, we have a class that we teach in uh, digital innovation that's, that's about kind of not just kind of learning how to use these things. We do all many of the same things that Miranda highlighted as well, but it's also about how to develop your own, how to kind of be your, you know, take an idea that you're interested in yeah. and where do you go with that and how do you take it and how do you make it, how do you make it work, whether you're doing that for a news organization or whether you're doing that on your own. Um, so students are very engaged. They, um, I, I just um, did a little study in how they think about change and how they think about innovation. I will um, have a spoiler, not that <laughs> anyone will actually see the study. Um, but they very much think about innovation as being technological innovation. Mm -hmm. very, they very much are focused on change being about the way the tools are changing. Yeah. And, and to me, in some ways, it's more interesting to think about how journalism is changing and how that's changing the way we think about what we do. We had a great panel this morning, and there'll be another one later this afternoon on audiences and how we engage with them and what kind of relationships we have. And I think a lot of those things 
that are connected with technology but aren't all about technology are about different ways of thinking about what we do and so, so it's interesting to see them engage with that. Yeah, definitely. And we had a huge um, increase in interest so the number of applicants have doubled um, oh, over wow. the last couple of years mm -hmm. and increasingly we're getting a lot of news organisations coming to us saying we need someone with this set of skills mm -hmm. and quite often we can't keep up with that demand so mm -hmm. actually it's a really exciting time for digital journalism. Wow, that's incredible. It's, yeah. just, it's constantly evolving all the time. What would you say your top tips are of engaging an audience? Whether that's, that's students well, or online. <laughs> you know, no, no matter how, um, you know, no matter what platform, you know, what sort of journalism it is, I mean, storytelling is key across all platforms. So be able to tell an engaging story, grabbing you know your audience at the start if you're live you know making sure that you know there's a reason for going live make sure that you're continuing to interact with comments if there are comments coming up um, and so you know playing to the advantage that school uh, digital journalism has like you know visualization and video interactivity and so forth um, I also think, in, in addition to that, I also think the the notion that he touched on that a little bit this morning. We'll probably get more into it this afternoon of creating a community. I think I think you, I think engagement. Um, as as uh, Jessica, I think it was said, you know, it's not just about the tote bag. Right? I mean, they, they really want to feel that they're a part of something and yeah. that they're connecting both with the journalist, I think, and with mm -hmm. the story and engaging in the story, but also connecting with each other. So I think the I think the organizations that are kind of doing well with this idea of engaging audiences are creating a space for for all of those things to happen. It's very difficult to do, um, but I think the ones that do it well have got uh, are really onto something. I would agree. Those that understand their audience are the yeah. Ones that are doing the best in this area. Okay, perfect.